Hello students, welcome to the online class of STB. This is Divya Vyas and today we are going to discuss about uses of plants. Students, it is not enough to say that plants are useful. In fact, we depend on plants. Life of animals and other living things cannot go on without plants. So, plants are really important for the planet and plants give green cover to the earth. All living things, plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen from their leaves, which human and other animals need to breathe. Trees are among our best friends. They help us in many ways. Like in summer, we take shelter in the shade of a tree. For an example, the mango and the banyan trees are so big and have such a wide spreading branches that human beings and animals can rest under them. Trees and forests are like the lungs of the earth. They purify the air by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out the oxygen we breathe. Forests help attract cloud and lead to increased rainfall. You know students, growing trees take water from the soil and release it into at atmosphere. Tree leaves also act as interceptors catching falling rain, which then evaporates causing rain. Precipitation elsewhere, a process known as evapotranspiration. Deforestation or cutting down of trees leads to less rain, dry climate, no shade and soil erosion. Students, you know we eat some parts of a plant. For an example, we eat some root like carrot and beetroot. We eat some stems like potato. We eat some flowers like cauliflower and broccoli. We eat some leaf like cabbage. We eat some of seeds like corn, wheat and rice. Students and we eat some fruits like mango, apple and so on. Different parts of a plant are useful to us in different ways. We get cereals, food items, timber, medicines, paper, rubber, resin and gum from trees. Let us discuss some of these. So our first point is food. Plants provide food for human beings and fodder for animals. Plants give us our staple diet, rice and wheat and also pulses and oil seeds. Pulses are seeds such as red crumb, black crumb, peas and beans. Pulses are the main source of bodybuilding food that is proteins for vegetarians. Sprouted black or green dals, peas and beans are very nutritious and good for health. The vegetables that we eat with rice and chapati come from plants. Some vegetables such as carrot and cucumber are eaten raw. Delicious fruits such as mango or pineapple also come from plants. Let's discuss about oil. Plants use for extracting cooking oil. Seeds of trees and plants are the main source of the oil we use for cooking like groundnut, coconut, sunflower, mustard and so on. In Europe, olive oil is used as olive trees grow. 
in the Mediterranean region. And students, do you know coconut oil also used for cooking? Some seeds such as cotton seed give us oil that is non-edible. We cannot use it for cooking. Such oil are used to make soaps. Next point is food. Plants also provide food for animals. They are a source of food for herbivorous animals. You know students, food, a type of animal feed is any agriculture food stuff used specially to feed domesticated livestock such as cattle, rabbits, sheep, horses, chickens and pigs. Food refers particularly to food given to the animals rather than that which they forage for themselves. In large cattle and sheep farms, alfalfa grass is grown to feed the animals. Dried stems of plants and hay are also used as cattle fodder. So our next point is medicinal value of plants. Many plants have medicinal value. Medicinal plants such as aloe, tulsi, neem, turmeric and ginger cure several common elements. These are considered as home remedies in many parts of the country. It is known fact that lots of consumers are using tulsi for making medicines and other activities in their day to day life. The leaves of the tulsi plant that most people grow in their homes that is good for cough and cold. Second, neem. The extract from the leaves and seeds of the neem tree is good for skin disease. Neem leaf is used for leprosy, eye disorders, bloody nose, stomach upset, loss of appetite, skin ulcers, disease of the heart and blood vessels, fever, diabetes, gum disease and the liver problems. You know students, dry neem leaves are placed among woolen clothes to keep away moths. They are as good as moth balls or naphthalene balls. So next point is turmeric. Haldi can act as an antiseptic. Turmeric is commonly used for conditions involving pain and inflammation. It is also used for hay fever, depression, high cholesterol, a type of liver disease and itching. The next point is Sincona tree. The medicines of treating malaria is made from the bark of the Sincona tree. Sincona is a tree people use the bark to make medicine. Sincona is used for increasing appetite, promoting the release of digestive juices and treating fullness and other stomach problems. It is also used for blood vessels disorders including leg cramps. Next point is eucalyptus oil. Eucalyptus oil is used in the oil balms for headache and for treating cold and cough. Next point is sandalwood. Sandalwood paste has a cooling effect. Sandalwood oil is considered to be good for the skin. So students, our next point is garlic. Garlic helps in digestion. Garlic is widely used for several conditions linked to the blood system and heart including high cholesterol, heart attack, heart disease and hypertension. So students, our next and last point is ginger. Ginger juice is good for the throat and for digestion. It has been used to help 
digestion, reduce nausea and help fight the flu and common cold. Ginger can be used fresh dried, powdered or as an oil or juice. So students, remaining part of this chapter we will continue in our next session. Thank you.